In 2009, the guys were asked to contribute a piece of animation to a conference where some of the biggest world leaders from around the globe would discuss the importance of protecting the environment and conserving energy and all that Captain Planet kind of stuff. But it's great that Ed was able to make something for a good cause, and I'm sure being seen by some of the most powerful people in the world was a big thing for him. This brings me to the environment-friendly Ed's World episode known as Climate Change. In it, Tom worries that Ed is using too much electricity and warns him of the dangers that could come from it. Ed pretty much says, id gaff, and later comes something for him to actually gaff about. A giant tidal wave caused by smoke clouds melting off a chunk of an iceberg in the middle of the Arctic. Before the wave can hit the house, Ed turns off all the electrical appliances he can find, and somehow this causes the tidal wave to turn around and just leave. Yeah, it's pretty silly, and even Ed realizes this. Well, that's just silly. This episode was clearly just made to be a save the environment kind of fair, but unlike the 2005 Christmas special, it doesn't feel like it was sloppily thrown together at the last minute. There was a good deal of thought and care that went into it. The story doesn't have a structure like movie makers, but climate change really isn't meant to be a big story-driven episode. Its purpose is to spread environment safety awareness across the world, and to warn people not to be careless with the electricity in their homes. It's a good message, and it could have easily been hammered into the point where it just seems laughable, like with Fern Gully and Once Upon a Forest. Thankfully, this episode keeps to the spirit of Ed's world. Climate change addresses the importance of preserving power without constantly reminding people to protect the environment for every second of its runtime. It delivers information when it needs to, it doesn't shove the moral into your face, and it depicts the dangers of using too much electricity in a way that's funny, understandable, and most importantly, subtle. And it still has those other funny moments we expect an Ed's World episode to have. Matt reads an electric-powered newspaper for crying out loud, how could you not find that funny? So, yeah, climate change is a pretty standard episode when you compare it to other Ed's World episodes, but when you judge it based on what it was made to do, I think it does its job really well. Nothing about it feels forced or contrived, it's just as funny as you would want it to be, and it's all for a good cause. I'm sorry if this video was too short for some of you, but if you want to take anything away from this, let it be this. Please be kind to the Earth, because if you don't, then a tidal wave is going to come destroy your house.